Hi guys, perhaps you know the Unity Kyle robot model and in this tutorial I want to show you how to import him fully rigged into Blender. Here is Kyle the robot in Unity 5.5. You can download the asset from the Unity asset store. I added the link to the video's description and it contains the FBX model, this material and two textures, the albedo and the normal map. It comes with this legacy shader, but you can also switch if you like to the standard shader and play around with the metalness and smoothness. But this tutorial is about import him into Blender and I created a new project and choose file, import FBX, select the robot Kyle and then you have to set some options for the FBX import there is no animation, so I don't select this here. And for the armature, I got good results by selecting these two options to force to connect the children and automatically set the orientation of the bones. Then I press import and here is the robot. The pose is a bit strange, but we can correct this. Just select the model, the armature and then you switch to pose mode and clear the transform okay and now this seems really good there is one bone here at the left foot for which the orientation is not correct so I switch to edit mode and correct this select one end of the bone in edit mode and then I make use of snapping I hold the shift key down till it snaps the end of the bone on the right and then I snap it to the start of the bone the same bone and here's my correct armature and the best thing is you can be sure that this will work for humanoid models armatures and animation in unity okay but before we come to animating this let's set the textures for the material and I open up the node editor and you can see that it is imported with this material here, with this node set up, and this is really cool, but there are three textures, and as you could see in the Unity project, we only have two textures, the albedo and the normal map. So let's remove all these nodes here at the bottom. We don't need them. Press X or delete. And now let's assign the albedo texture for this node and the normal texture for this one okay and you can already see on the left that this looks really cool now close the node editor and switch to the render mode to get a preview on how this will look like when it is rendered yeah, awesome. Here he is, Kyle the Robot in Cycles Renderer. Okay, in the last part, let me show you how to pose this model by using the bones of the armature. I switch to pose mode. After I select the armature, and then I can rotate the bones by pressing the R key. Just let's find a nice pose to render out this robot. You can see here when I'm rotating the bones that the robot's geometry is following, which means that the weights are set correctly after importing it. You can also enable Auto IK 
for posing the model and moving the bones around with inverse kinematics. Oh, that looks a bit weird. I have to bring this in. And this one rotate to the outside. Okay, I think that's good enough for this tutorial. We will use this pose to render him. Just set the orientation of the camera. You can do this by pressing Ctrl, Alt and the zero key of the numpad. And then press G and move the camera to a position that you like for rendering. And then press F12 to render the image. I will double the samples and now let's render this. Alright, I like it and if you like it too, then please subscribe to my channel. And it would be amazing if you could support me on my Patreon so that I have more time to create tutorials like this in the future. Thanks a lot for watching and come back soon to JNM.